All right, we're here at Pella, talk windows and doors. Yep. Well, once you get it framed, you get to actually walk through the space and really imagine now what it's gonna be like. Y'all, when I was in the 80s, when I was little, my bedroom was Tide Pool Teal. That was the paint color. The bedding was purple. And here we are in Stella's room with like basically turquoisey colors and purple. My name is Ben Coates with Coates Homes. My name is Emily Hewitt. I own Dallas design firm, A Well-Dressed Home. We have decided to build with Coates Homes. Windows are so important to me, especially for this project. I wanted them to have that kind of traditional old school feel yes. and Pella totally delivers a product that works for us. Yes. They brought us in and they put our plans up here on the screen and we walked through window by window. Do we want this to be casement? Do we want this to be hung? Do we want this to be oval? Because we do have a lot of ovals. If a window is operable, it's more expensive. Mm -hmm. So typically you don't want an operable window in every single opening of your house. Right. What are the other factors that you thought about regarding price? I would say, okay, I think I want a window of this size. And then Pella was really great about saying, well, if we decrease the height by two or three inches, we're at a standard size window, that saves you $800. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, that's exactly what I need you to tell that's me. That's right. So when you're talking value engineering, mm -hmm. it's the design and the shape of the windows. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of glass, specifically the kind of wood that the manufacturer uses right. if it's aluminum clad, mm -hmm. and then custom versus standard. Those are three major ways to keep the quality high, mm -hmm. but just to lower the price a little bit to make it more affordable. That's right. Double hung is what I'm really drawn to. Yes. This is an example of a double hung window. Ours will be painted white again to kind of match the style of the home. Yeah. We have a lot of French doors in this house. Yes, like the, which is what this is. This is a French this door. Is a French door. Yes. I definitely wanted them to obviously jive with the style of the windows. That's right. I wanted painted wood. The doors that we have are going to have more divisions and we're going to have a little bit more detail on the dividers, kind of like you see here. Yes. We're gonna do white on some, and some yeah. of them are gonna be painted just like a light blue. Typically, you're just consistent, right, uh -huh. with one color. Uh -huh. So I think you, of all people, know how to pull that off. I can't wait to see yeah. that. All right, guys, so we are going to dive into the exterior presentation. Main white. Okay. It goes a lot more white when okay. it's actually up and painted. We have white dove on our house now, on the exterior, mm -hmm. and I like it. Okay, maybe it's worth sampling both. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Okay for y'all's like mm -hmm. shutter and the mudroom door mm -hmm. is this one. We also explored these. We felt like this was not in mm -mm. contrast. Too gr and, and too gray. A little too saturated. I like this. And I like how it has a hint of green to it. Cool. That one's pretty good. Yeah. Thank you. Well, We're good at our well job. Done, well done. <laughs> this is going to be that blue green color. Mm -hmm. And then considering doing this in that blue green color as well. Played around with the front door, we drew it arched. What we're concerned with, with going with an arched top, is mm -hmm. that it's gonna compete with the arch that's going here. And then shutter style, so they're not functioning. Right. It just has the little yeah. divider in the center. I would like hardware. We will put okay. hardware on there. How are you feeling about everything we've presented to you? Great, great. Yeah, it's right on track with my inspiration photos. I think it looks good. The house is framed, we've got the Tyvek on, so now we've actually tightened the house out, we've got it dried in, we've got the windows and doors in. Behind me, we've got a pair of three French doors. Those French doors are amazing because they open up from the family room to the patio, and it gives that outdoor, indoor living that everybody's looking for. And then we also have in the family room the amazing bay window with the casement windows. That's where the infamous Christmas tree is gonna go every December. And then in the kitchen behind me, you can see we've got several windows that are pretty unique. When we talk about a casement window, it gives you this ability to have big glass. We talk about having three sides of light and this room has it. We've got a pair of French doors on the front elevation and on both sides of the room, we've got these huge casement windows. That floods light into the room. We're in one of the kids' bedrooms and I've got a great example to show you of a big double hung window. Cool different opportunities to capture light and also capture wind on a beautiful spring or fall day. One of the quintessential or signature pieces in the cottage era of New England or Cape Cod is an oval window. It gives the exterior elevation or the look of your home something really, really unique. Once we get done framing, we start doing weekly or bi-weekly walkthroughs. It's one thing to see the house in plan, but when you actually get to walk in, you can see things that you wanna adjust or change, and that's exactly what happened in this bathroom. Emily walked through, didn't like a few things, and we wanted to tweak the way that you entered the bathroom and the way that we have the sink in the water closet. 
And that was a pretty easy change at this point because we haven't brought all of the plumbing up to the second floor. And so it gives us a great opportunity to make those changes. So we're in the back porch of the house and you get to see the actual French doors framed in from the exterior view. But what I really wanted to show you are the transom windows above the French doors. I absolutely love how this turned out when you see it actually framed, it's making this house come to life. What's next is we're stuffing the guts in the house. That means we're putting in all the mechanicals, the HVAC, the electrical, the plumbing. We'll have some inspections. We'll get to insulate. Then we're off to sheetrock. We're in Beckham's room. We know we're going to do the vertical shiplap. And I want something very dark and moody. On the left, we have Coldwell green. Yeah. And on the right, we have Cushing yeah. green. So do you have a favorite? Well, I think we should try it out on this wall. The Coldwell, it has more blue in it. Yeah. And then this one is more of like a mossy color, which I feel like is yeah. what I'm leaning towards. Here are some of the fabrics that we have selected for Beckham's room. Yes, this is the one for sure. So you started with fabrics and then mm -hmm. we're back to paint? Is that? I did. I think every designer does it a little bit differently, but I wanted to find the fabrics first and then find the paint. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely think this is good. Okay, me too. Agreed. So Cushing Green is the winner. Yay. Yes, I love that. This one might be too pink. Okay, I think the one on the left might be the winner. Oh my gosh. Individual white? Yeah, but it's more like individual moth. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Oh my gosh, I love it. The walls in Stella's room are gonna be paneled yep. and they're going to be Benjamin Moore White Dove. And that's gonna be like the main color throughout the whole house, walls and ceiling. And the outside. And the outside. But in Stella's room, doing like a very muted lilac color on the trim mm -hmm. and on her cabinet in the bathroom mm -hmm. and cabinets in her bedroom. Yeah. So her bed fabric is this lavender color. Yeah. It's gonna be on a white wall but I need the trim to coordinate. And this one is almost right on. And then we've got this Schumacher fabric, which is going on her bedding. Okay, cool. We may have a winner for Stella's room then too. I wanted an accent paint color down here. Yep. I want some color, but I don't want it to be overwhelming. This one is so pretty. Booth Bay Gray. Booth Bay 50%. Regular Booth Bay has a lot of green in it, and I was hoping that the 50% would go obviously lighter, but have a little bit more blue, and it does. We've got two more to test out, just to be sure. X that one out. That was supposed to be for Beckham's room. We've already found Beckham's paint. Ooh, this is actually really pretty. I can already tell you the winner is Booth Bay at 50%. I like it. See, look at us making decisions. Boom. I love it.